How are you lovely people doing today? My name is John. Welcome to another beautiful episode of the Zombie Storyline Q&A. In this series, I take your questions about the zombie storyline and I answer them. Whether it be a big, a small, or a simple question, I'm more than happy to answer it. So go ahead and leave your questions down below. Maybe I'll see it and maybe I'll answer it. You may even be in the next episode. If you want, there are two ways to submit your questions. The first way is to tweet me at JohnnyJ25. I'm always on Twitter. It's one of the best ways to get in touch with me. Another thing you can do is to leave them down in the comments below. I go through all of the comments and I guarantee your question will get seen. Now this is going to be a quickie episode, which means rather than take multiple questions and answer them, what I do is I take one question and I try to answer the question to its fullest. If you're watching this video not long after it came out, it means I'm currently in Germany. So this episode has been pre-recorded. That means that while I won't be able to get to your questions right away, as soon as, I, as soon as I return to the States, I will be catching up on many of your questions. So please do leave your questions down below. You may be in a future episode. Without further ado though, let's begin. So today we have a question from Marcus Pyro who asks, why did they kill the weasel? It's a pretty interesting thing to think about. Why would they kill the weasel midway through their escape of Alcatraz? That's just going to make it harder to escape. Well, the question can actually get be answered when you listen to the Mob of the Dead audio tour that is given at the end of the Easter egg. Take a listen. The plan falling apart, anger and frustration ultimately lead to a brutal altercation between the misguided Barlington and his former co-conspirators. Armed only with makeshift weapons, Finn O'Leary, Sal DeLuca, and Billy Hansen lured the unsuspecting Arlington to the roof, where they intended to exact a bloody and violent revenge. Let us not forget, ladies and gentlemen, that the characters within Alcatraz are some of the worst criminals the United States has ever seen. It is not like these people are easily saved. They are hardened criminals. They have been working with the mob for years, they have resulted in many murders. These are not good people. And when you listen to the wording and the way Stanley phrases things, it almost makes it seem like Arlington is an outsider. It's believed that Arlington, aka the Weasel, somehow convinced three other inmates. So when you consider that these characters may not have been as close to the Weasel as they are with one another, it makes sense that when they're frustrated, they might backlash with some retaliation that is pretty gruesome. That's why they killed the weasel on the roof. Their plan, this daring plan that they thought would allow them to leave the island was slowly falling apart before their eyes. They needed to do something. They needed to let out this frustration, this anger somehow. And they just, they let it out on the weasel. It was the weasel who set them up for this failure. This was the weasel's plan. Sure, they were dumb enough to follow, but it was the weasel who got them into this mess, in a sense. Now, that does not justify their murder at all, and we see they're going to end up being punished for this murder with an execution, as well as an eternal damnation in Mob of the Dead. But, it really lets us into the mind when you consider that the weasel was more of an outsider amongst them. This wasn't a situation where they're used to the weasel messing up, or... The weasel is a friend of theirs, and maybe this plan didn't work out, but we'll try again another day. Now, the, his guy was somebody that was more or less just in a way tagging along. The only reason he was probably associating with him so much was because he had an escape. Now, we did learn from the Mob of the Dead character bios that they had all previously worked together within the mob, but I would just assume that the weasel was the farthest removed out of anybody in the group. He even, Stanley were even referred to him as more of like a surprising character, like they didn't expect it to come from him. So, of the group, he is the least hardened of the criminals, and when these criminals want to backlash, he is the weakest of the bunch, the easiest they could take down, the most likely target. So, that's why they killed the weasel within the map, Ma with the Dead. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it interesting, maybe give it a like, possibly subscribe. I upload multiple episodes of the Zombie Storyline Q&A every week. And if you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll love the next one. Once again, you can tweet me at JohnnyJ25 or leave your questions down below. All are both wonderful ways to get your questions on the show. I'm going to go. Have a wonderful day and bye.